Welcome to the Oldies Perk Guide. This perk is a great asset for learning how Savars position themselves in loops, and it's a great tool for both new and experienced players. So, if you enjoy getting legit wall hacks in game, being called out for wall hacking on your profile on people's streams, as well as being called a cheater in post game chat, this is your perk. I am all ears is a perk that lets you see the survivor's order for 6 seconds that can trigger every 60, 50 and 40 seconds when they perform a rushed action within 48 meters. Rushed actions are fast and medium walls and windows, a fast walk on a paddle will also trigger all ears. Quickly jumping in or out of a locker will also reveal a survivor. Keep in mind that the ore reveal will start the moment the action takes place and will linger a little bit before they won't be revealed anymore in the logger. There is no interaction between the perk Deception and Amolius. Deception is thus countered by Amolius as there is no ore reveal and you can tell which logger is the fake one by process of elimination. Amolius is a teachable perk that unlocks a level 30 but goes face or you can try and get it in the shrine if you're lucky. The perk is great in both small and larger loops. On larger loops, it can be especially beneficial as you can cut survivors off when they try to run a strong tile. Here are some examples on larger loops that demonstrate just how strong this perk can be. Okay, so first off, we have Larry's Memorial where I'm chasing Cheryl. Now, she vaults the pallet, and I'm just gonna go the entire round. It's a fairly ambitious mind game, but I have vision of it. I know she's trying to like camp that and see where I am, but she has no idea which angle I'm coming from, and it allows me to get a fairly easy hit in on her. The second one is Haddonfield, where you would normally loop the window straight after her and follow her down, but I can see she's running this way, so I just vault the window right next to her, and it allows me to get a very, very quick hit in on Cheryl here as well. So the third one is Baton Preschool, a very very nasty loop. Now I see Bill vault this window here and I think oh he's probably camping under the pallet so wait a little bit, I can see him and I go down and I pre-slap him in case he was under the pallet. Not much you can do there. So the fourth one is on Gas Haven and I believe this is uh, Jane, yep, yeah, and I wait a little bit. Again I don't have vision but I can still predict on where she's going to be based on her movements. Um, so those were the very big loops. It's also an excellent product for making very risky mind games that normally might not work because you wouldn't have the information. Iamolius also counters any clever jukes the survivors will try and perform, like a slow wall back over a pallet. It is also incredibly oh, hard for the survivor to tell okay. if you have Iamolius. There is no sound or status effect that indicates this, unlike Nemesis for instance, that will give the survivor the oblivious status effect and make them the obsession. You have guaranteed value of this perk every single game since the virus will always perform fast actions. It's decent on any killer in the game, but it shines the most on killers with range or some sort of gap closure that can capitalize on the aura read. There's even an argument to be made for stealth killers. The perk itself has a hefty cooldown of 40 seconds, but makes up for it with an aura read of 6 seconds, which is quite significant. Also keep in mind that despite in lasting 6 seconds, you can still predict a few seconds ahead of where the survivor was. It's this in giving you more like 6 to 8 seconds of value. A downside to the perk is that it can sometimes get wasted by the survivors. There are currently three ways this perk seems to get wasted. The first and least likely is that a random survivor performs a fast action within 48 meters, which triggers the perk. This is only really something you should worry about if they know you have the perk which is extremely unlikely. The slightly more likely scenario is that a survivor walls a window or pallet as you hit them and runs off. However, there is a grey area to this, like if you hit the survivor before they wall the window, they will be wasting a majority of their speed boost, as well as what kind of loop you're dealing with and what killer you're playing. Also, keep in mind that if the survivor commits to staying at the loop after you hit them, then you wouldn't have lost any value in the perk as well. The most often scenario where you get the absolute least value out of the perk is when you down a survivor as they vault the window. There's almost no value in knowing where you just down the survivor for 6 seconds. Imolius is countered by a bunch of perks, some more meta than others. I have divided these into heavy, medium, soft counters, as well as perks that Imolius softly counters and medium counters. The biggest counter is currently Object of Obsession. This perk essentially turns your perk into a disadvantage. When the survivor uses this perk, they will get to see your aura for the full 6 seconds. There's also no cooldown object, meaning whenever your perk is active, so will object be. Another major issue is that the survivor can now tell you using them all ears, and if they're on comms, delay it to the rest of the team. You might not also know they have object at first. 
The second biggest counter is probably Soul Survivor. Once one survivor is dead, you will never get to use your perk in a chase again probably. It's also hard to tell that they have it unless you have chased them before. On the top of the medium counter list we have Distortion. This perk comes with 4 tokens and will shot down Amolius 4 times, taking away a lot of value from it. On top of that, it lets the survivor know you have the perk and they can tell when they lose the tokens and thus delay it to the rest of the team. Next up we have Lithe. This usually results in a waste as the survivor just runs away, putting your perk on 40 seconds cooldown. However, the survivor most likely won't get to use it more than once per chase. Certain killers can also deal with lives to a certain extent. On the fourth place, we have Boon Shadow Step. The Boon will hide any ore reel Amorias will give and can benefit multiple survivors. However, the totem takes time to set up and is area specific and can easily be found and destroyed. On the bottom of the medium counters is Broken Record, as it prevents ore read for up to 80 seconds. This will most likely only give you maybe 2 to 3 ways per game at best. On the soft counter list we have Quick and Quiet. And yes, people will probably lose their mind and crucify me because I put the perk that low down. But hear me out first. Quick and Quiet prevents all read from Amolius by essentially hiding the noise detection range. And it has a short cooldown of 20 seconds. So far so good. The problem with Quick and Quiet is that it doesn't activate Amolius and thus doesn't waste it. It merely delays it. Let me show an example that often happens with Quick and Quiet. The survivor vaults the window, then a little time passes by and they vault the window again and then Amolius is active and fine. On top of that, Quick and Quiet can also work against the survivor. If a survivor gets hit over a window, Amolius doesn't get activated, essentially saving the perk for the next survivor or another chase. Quick and Quiet's major counter to Amolius is mainly Logger Place. Also, with Quick and Quiet, the cooldown on the second try will often be off in comparison to Amolius. Amolius counters any perk that relies on stealthy plays as they often trick survivors into a false sense of security, like in this instance when Nia is trying to make a clever juke in the bush after vaulting the window. Again, it doesn't matter if she has Iron Will or Lucky Break, I have vision of her the entire time. On the medium catalyst, we have deception as mentioned before, as it is a process of elimination. Yeah, that was it for the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed it, it took quite some time to make it. I absolutely love this perk, I've been using it for like maybe like 3, 4, 5 years, I've been using it for so long, I can't remember when I started using it. It's one of the best chase perks in the entire game in my opinion, uh, and I hope you learned something and maybe you'll equip it, it is a hidden gem indeed. Uh, yeah, and stay, stay fresh and take care.